Hello, Craig Birch here. Welcome back to Around the Board, your weekly dots bulletin with all of the news from the PDC and the video. A little bit later than advertised for your weekly video with myself, Craig Birch, this week because we've been waiting on the results of the German Grand Prix, which has literally just culminated as we come to record this video and its 22nd European Tour title for Michael van Gerwen in a repeat of the first European Tour event, which was the previous weekend and also in Germany as well, where it was him and Peter Wright in the final, right on top in that first European Tour final. Not so much this time, it was Peter Wright who was uh, leading the fight back as it was. He, he levelled the match at 5-5 at one stage until Michael peeled away for an 8-5 victory and there seems to be no stopping Michael van Gerwen at the moment and that bodes very well going into the Premier League on Thursday in Liverpool where Michael van Gerwen is of course top of the pile in the Premier League so far. Lots of uh, subplots as well, particularly after Belfast in the Premier League last Thursday night. There's plenty to discuss ahead of the next run of fixtures and one person we know who will not be winning the Premier League, PDC Premier League this year is Going Price. Going Price now relegated from the PDC Premier League. If we go through all the results from last week and just sort of talk about it as well. Um, a lot of subplots to that really as well. Michael Smith kept the pressure up on Michael Van Gogh and he's in second place but his 7-2 win over Going Price sees Going Price eliminated from the Premier League in his first year so Judgment Night in Liverpool is not really going to affect Going. He's already dead and buried but he plays without pressure as well under that rash now we'll go through some of the other results as well. Mendes Sulovic drops into the bottom two of the Premier League now after a 7-5 defeat to Gary Anderson in Belfast as well. Daryl Gurney as well. Daryl Gurney, real he he beat the world champion. Rob Cross, I'll beat him again in the European Tour events as well in the German Grand Prix over the weekend as well. So he's uh, that was enjoying plenty of good form. I mean, to have two wins like that over the space of about four or five days in the Premier League as well. That's as a uh, not the scene. Daryl reached the semi-finals of the German Grand Prix that we discussed as well. It's also make sure he's safe in the Premier League. Remember, he was in the bottom two for quite some time. Menza Sulovic is now second bottom in the PDC Premier League as well. And a person who's climbed out of danger is right as well with a 6-6 draw and Simon Whitlock in Belfast as well. Van Gerwen now two points clear after a 7-2 win over Raymond Van, Van Bonnevelt as well. So Judgment Nights, it's Liverpool as well. As we remember, we lost a we lost a night in Exeter as well. So the the fixtures are pretty still sort of all up in the air, but we do know on Thursday as well what we can expect as well. Gerwin Price, a man playing without pressure in the Premier League, as we discussed, has Simon Whitlock as well. Michael Smith will be looking to keep up the pressure on Van Gerwen against Raymond Van Bardeville as well. Gary Anderson, Rob Cross, that could be a really, really good game as well. And uh, Menzo Sulovic needs, after dropping into the drop zone of the Premier League, now needs to think about how he's going to respond and how he's going to climb away from danger. And he's not going to find it very easy at the Echo Arena in Liverpool on Thursday, you would imagine, because he's got Michael Van Gerwen as well. Daryl Gurney, Peter Wright as well. Wright obviously has gave himself a little bit of a lifeline with that draw in the Premier League last Thursday and now he's got Gurney. Gurney already safe in the Premier League and Peter Wright will be looking to emulate what Dow has achieved very soon as well. We talked about the German Grand Prix as well. A lot of players carry good form into that weekend. Well, Peter Wright on the floor, he's a very formidable four player, Peter Wright is, and that's two European Tour events. He likes European Tour, not managed to win one yet due to Van Gerwen, but also in the semi-finals, both seven free results. Van Gogh and saw off Gurney 7-3 in that semi-final as well. James Wade was the guy who came off 7-3 to right as well. But obviously, really, I mean, European Tour event has seen some real, real good darts from Peter Wright. Michael Van Gogh looks at his sparkling best. He's top of the Premier League going into Thursday. Ek Judgment Night at the Echo Arena in Liverpool. Expecting a real, real good night of darts there as well. And then it's on to Barnsley as well for Players' Championship over the weekend as well. Footnote with the BDO. We always talk about the BDO. The BDO had the Iceland Open over the weekend as well. Dennis Watt is the 2018 Iceland Open men's singles champion with a 6-4 win over Gudjan Hawkson and the ladies title winner was Algina Ducanati who was a 6-3 winner over Maria Johansteer so obviously real busy for the BDO as well and going forward there's plenty more to look forward to and we're going to see you again we should be Monday night again next week but obviously you're going to be watching this on Tuesday morning because the game's just finished that's why I'm looking tired I'm ready for bed it's been a long day at the Arras and I look forward to seeing you again next week